This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and as promised, this is our pen demonstration for the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad Carbon turned into a yoga in convertibles. 2.8 pounds, very thin, very light. It has a lift and lock keyboard. At 2.8 pounds, you could use it as a tablet, certainly for drawing and for note-taking, and we're going to explore it in a bit more depth. Now, we have a full review of this. Go ahead and watch that, and we have a written review, too, which you can read. But... Uh, didn't want to spend too, too much time on the pen there for those who didn't care that much about it. So here we're going to dive a little bit deeper into how the pen works, because this is interesting. This is a new Wacom AES digitizer in here. So different from the EMR technology that Wacom used to use, and slightly different from Entrig, though technologically, they do have a lot of similarities. We're going to look at it now. All right, so first let's take a look at the Wacom pen control panel that is pre-installed here. It is pre-installed, and it, on ours, WinTab drivers were pre-installed as well. And this is a retail model, so this wasn't set up special for us, but you can also download the WinTab drivers from Lenovo's website. So you can see here, you can assign what the little buttons do on this teeny weeny little pen. And by default, the lower button does the erasing. Top button, it's up to you, so we can set it to be left-click, middle-click, right-click, so on, keystrokes, modifier, radial menu, bring up panning, scrolling, open, run, Journal, quick note, so on. So you can you can assign it to be many different things. You can have hover clicking. I don't like that feature myself, but some people don't actually want to touch the screen. You can set your pen tip sensitivity, basically the stroke firmness. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference in my testing, the way you set it. The middle setting works pretty well. Hard pressed if you want that to be a double click and show the ripple effect. I think you all know what that is. And then we have configured displays. In this case, this is the screen we are using with the pen. And calibration actually takes you to, through quite a detailed calibration. It's a couple of inset points and then many, many outside points. So it's a fairly involved calibration. The only thing I can say now, maybe it's because I'm left-handed, I don't know, that really shouldn't make a difference, is that it actually made things worse. It's pretty much just spot on. These AES kind of electrostatic pens usually are. It's the same technology that Entrig uses. So this is not an EMR pen, which is electromagnetic, the older Wacom technology, and it's still what they claim to be the most precise, though I find this to be quite good. So we, go, we have good hover distance here. Oh, about a half an inch or so, and that's important for palm rejection, so it detects the pen tip and doesn't think my hand is going to be drawing. So here we have ArtRage, which supports both WinTab and the new modern Windows Ink APIs, and both are turned on by default. We left them that way. You can set one on, you can set the other on. I think to get all the possible features, leaving them both on doesn't hurt in this case, which is interesting. And I've been working on drawing an apple over here, as you can see. So, pencil tool, Right there, I'm resting my hand on the screen. I want to put a little extra work right there. Excellent precision as to where the cursor is located or the stroke begins. The, the, the parallax that makes me go absolutely cranky with EMR pens is not here, so that is a good thing. I want to color in my leaves a little bit. That works just fine. So here is a pencil stroke. Now, yeah, there's 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 plenty of jitter here, and even if I use a straight edge against the screen, there's going to be jitter if I go slowly. I do happen to be a pretty quick stroke person myself, so if you go quickly, it's not a problem, but there is jitter there. And if we switch to the oil brush, you get a pretty natural stroke. To me, that still looks a little bit digital there, the, the ink flow, you, you know, but the pressure sensitivity is quite good. And you got 2048 levels here, so that works pretty well. In terms of speed, let's pick on the airbrush because that's usually something that just slows things to all heck. So that's pretty good. And let's make our radius a lot bigger. And it's keeping up pretty well. The, the, the lag is not terrible with that. An airbrush is usually one of the things that causes the problem. So it works well, works with a variety of tools. The pen pressure sensitivity is good there. No eraser on the back here, so you actually have to select the eraser tool if you want to erase with this. Well, life could be worse. Surface Book has to score a few points somewhere, doesn't it, in Surface Pro 4. By the way, we do have a smackdown between Microsoft Surface Book and the ThinkPad X1 Yoga for those of you who are still trying to decide between the two of these because they do have a lot of similarities. 
Next, we're switching to Clip Studio Paint Pro. Now I have that running in the background as well as OneNote. So fan noise, not an issue here. And this is the Core i7, so it, it's as powerful as it gets. Dual core, 15 watt, Intel HD 520 graphics. And I've got a brush tool selected right now. And in Clip Studio Paint, I find everything to look kind of a little bit too digital and perfect. I, I don't get real inky strokes there. I'm going to switch over to a pen. pen. And that's a pretty skinny pen that I've got set right now. So let's make that a little bit bigger, like 15. And now let's go even larger. And let's go up to 50. It's not bad, it's not super fantastic in terms of natural looking kind of thing, but in terms of pressure sensitivity and responsiveness, it actually is quite good. If we go to the pencil tool, I can rest my hand right here. Oops, make that a little bit smaller again. And it's quick enough, it's fluid enough, it's natural enough to draw with nicely. It gives a pretty natural look to the sketch here. I mean that's really nice and that's really responsive. So I don't feel like this is a second class citizen to the older thing pads that had Wacom EMR if you're into art. Now switching into OneNote, this is the Metro Live Tile version. Works the same way if you're using the desktop version. And we did cover this in our full review, but just in case you're just wanting to focus in on the pen again, it's fantastic for taking notes. Doesn't help my handwriting any, but it works quite well here. And you, you, know, you could doodle too. You got your, your same pressure sensitivity, light stroke. Let's see how light we can go. You can't get too, too light in one note with this pen, but it's, it's fairly good stuff right here. And lastly, we'll take a look at Photoshop, which again, we cover that also in the full review, but just so you can see it again, because Photoshop is so important to so many folks. Aha, uh -huh, and the fan, fan finally kicked on a little bit when we ran Adobe Photoshop CC, so the latest version right here, and I've got the pencil tool. So before we showed photo editing, and of course this is a very nice and precise way to edit photos, it's much better than using your finger where you're blocking what it is you're trying to edit with your finger, and all that sort of thing. So it, it works, it's not bad. I, I see a little bit of latency, a little bit of delay right there, and that's the pencil tool. And now we have something, for those of you who want to paint with the brush, increase the pixel size, and I'm doing the diagonal lines again so you can see the jitter. I'll try to go slow. The jitter is pretty evident there. In terms of how it keeps up, pretty darn good. Now if you want to set the brush to be obscenely huge, just because that's an indicator of performance, and some folks like to see the test, we're going to go for a 196, make it 243 pixel wide brush. And it's keeping up just fine with the dual core i7 and integrated graphics right there. You can fill that canvas real darn fast up. Overall, this is a very pleasing art tool. It's, uh, it's as good, certainly, I never thought I'd get to say this, as, as Entrig solution for the Surface products, the latest generation Surface products. It used to be Entrig was way behind several years ago, but they have really caught up. And this being the first generation of Wacom's AES technology, their electrostatic active pen, I, it's also quite good. It's, it's real close. I, I still would say I prefer Entrig a little bit for, for the, the way the pressure curves are implemented, but this is also quite good, and it doesn't make me miss Wacom EMR. I know some of you are going to have a cow who love your Wacom EMR, and it is very precise, and there are things to be said for it, but very competent for note-taking, art, Photoshop, touching up, all that sort of stuff, and it's standard with the ThinkPad X1 Yoga so there it is. Now you have a better idea of what the pen is like on the new ThinkPad X1 Yoga. And, and also Lenovo is using the new Wacom AES technology and a couple of other ThinkPad models too. So it's going to work the same way. Same little rechargeable pen that goes in the silo. Optional bigger pen you can buy separately so you don't have to deal with the teeny little twig here. Anyway, it works very well. And unsurprisingly, it works similarly to Entrix since they both use very similar technologies behind the scenes.
better edge tracking and less parallax, really just about no parallax here compared to Wacom's older EMR technology, which they still consider to be the Cadillac of technologies, by the way, as being the most precise offering. Honestly, uh, I, I think Entrig and the AES are really getting up there to being very good as well. So it, it's quite competitive stuff. And particularly, I hate parallax. It makes me crazy. And that being gone here is just wonderful. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to watch our full video review of this. Read our written review and hit the like button too.